This is one chapter of our historical documentary, Northeast Rails, Volume 1. The Delaware and Hudson Railroad used trackage rights, shown as dashed lines, to run from DuPont Junction through Allentown and Bethlehem to New Jersey. Additional trackage rights from Philadelphia ran trains through C.P. Byrne into Allentown. The next train is a RPPY westbound, heading to the river crossing. The lead unit is a Susquehanna SD-45, still in its old Burlington Northern colors. The last unit is still in old Delaware and Hudson colors and markings. The lead U-23B had dual control stands and often operated long hood forward. large water tank in the background has been removed and is no longer a local landmark. This is PGAL from Philadelphia to Allentown approaching CP Burn. Lead Susquehanna 4006 and trailing 4008 were new GE B40-8s. The Suzy Q had a tradition of numbering power with multiple unit capability only in even numbers. That dated from the 1950s. This is another DNH train under Susquehanna operation on former Central New Jersey tracks. The middle unit is far from its Omaha, Nebraska home. It's a Union Pacific SD40. Now we move to nearby C.P. Ham that controlled trains on the east bank of the Lehigh River in and out of Allentown on former central New Jersey rails. We'll see a number of Conrail and D&H trains here.
This train has a green Penn Central covered hopper car still in nice paint. The next train is a Delaware and Hudson train with a pair of former Baltimore and Ohio units. The auto bridge in the background is the Hamilton Street crossing of the river. C.P. Allen is at the west end of Allentown's yard. Next is 7412 patched for the D&H. It's a former Reading Railroad number 3412, still in Reading colors. This GP39-2 was sold again by 1991, and it would become CSX number 4316. At the west end of Allentown Yard, a soon-to-be westbound Conrail Freight is making double at C.P. Allen.
We'll move our attention east where the tracks on both sides of the river cross under the hill-to-hill -hill auto bridge. The track crossing the river diagonally is the line to the giant Bethlehem steel plant. Here the eastbound mail crosses under the hill-to-hill -hill bridge and over the diamonds of the Bethlehem secondary track. This ore train from South Philly is on the Bethlehem secondary track. It is headed to Bethlehem Steel's old plant that is now closed. This scene will never be repeated. If you notice the large advertising sign, you can see that this location was shot over several months period of time. As these Susquehanna units roll by, you can see the Bethlehem Passenger Station, jointly used by the Lehigh Valley and Reading Railroad passenger trains. It closed long ago. It has been restored. The arrow shows the direction of the camera in these shots. We are on the river's south shore looking west.
The steel plant in the background is the famous Bethlehem Steel Plant that closed in 1995. Steel making here dated from the beginning of U.S. industrialization and the U.S. Civil War. This is the same location looking west as PIOI runs under the Fahey Street Bridge. One last train in the area is at Easton, Pennsylvania, with a mail train crossing the Delaware River heading west. Look for this full feature DVD at your favorite railroad hobby dealer or check out our website with many other DVDs on vintage railroading.